welcome back to my channel everybody today I want to talk about brainstorming and how you can come up with a list of 100 video topics in 30 minutes you heard that right 100 video topics in 30 minutes I did it and you can actually watch the video of how I did it I did it straight up live it's a 30 minute video you can watch through the whole thing if you want but this video is more of a summary of my process and how I did it and I actually got to 101 video topics squeezed an extra one in there for you so that's what I'm gonna be talking about today and how you can do it for your channel <laughs> Now before I dive in real deep into my brainstorming process, I want to make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. I put out weekly videos about this exact thing and more. So if you are wanting to create more video content, if you want to grow your audience online, on YouTube, on Facebook with video, if you want to get confident in front of the camera, I cover all of these things and more. So it's really easy, click subscribe, you will be subscribed to my channel, and from then on, you will be able to watch my videos on a weekly basis. The first step to any good brainstorming process is making sure that you feel in the flow. You have to be in a space that inspires you, with music that inspires you. Get in the right environment, and once you do that, you'll your ideas will just kind of flow one will lead to another you'll build on them you'll yes and yourself it's an improv term you'll yes and yourself you'll build your ideas and you'll quickly get to a list of a hundred video topics so once I find myself in the perfect environment where I feel the most creative and the most in flow, then you're ready to start brainstorming. So pull out your computer, get a piece of paper and a pen if that's the way you like to brainstorm and start brainstorming. The first step in this process that I follow is to make a list of categories. And this should be anywhere from like three to six categories. So not too few and not too many, just like a, a nice list of categories of things that you like to talk about, things that you are an expert in. These categories are going to fall under the main umbrella of what your channel is about. So if your channel is about fashion, you might list five different categories within fashion that you really love to talk about. So let's say you have a cooking channel and it's all about healthy cooking. Well, maybe one category would be gluten-free cooking. One category might be grocery shopping. One category might be desserts, healthy desserts, right? So these would all be different categories that you can then brainstorm content within. So here's an example for me is my categories are video marketing, video production, DIY video, confidence on camera, YouTube. So those are five really strong categories that I use when I'm brainstorming content. Now, as my channel grows, as I build out my audience, I'll be able to branch out and talk about some other things. But for the time being, let's keep it short and sweet and to the point. Pick out three to six categories that you are an expert in and let's start brainstorming. Once you have all of your categories, step number two is to start brainstorming within each category. The way that I organize my brainstorming sheet is I will first list out my categories and then underneath, I will start writing down each topic within those categories, starting with number one. So I will go into my video production category and I'll go, okay, how to produce video on your phone. What gear you need to produce video with your phone. My top four shooting tips. How to shoot for the edit. What to wear on camera. So these are all ideas for topics and I'll just list them out as fast as possible. Now you might find that each idea could spin off into another idea. So this is spitfire. You are just spitballing ideas. You're throwing them out there. You are not judging any of your ideas. This is a really, really important concept when it comes to brainstorming. If you start going back and judging and questioning, like, could I really do that? You're not brainstorming. You're not in flow. So make sure you keep yourself in this creative space. Say yes to every idea that comes up, no matter how stupid you feel it is and then you can go back and edit later this is literally just a brain dump so keep going through each category you might come up with 10 to 20 ideas for video topics per category go through each one all the way until you've finished all the categories 
Now, what might come up during this time is you might think of another category. So I might go back up to the top and list entrepreneurship, and I wanna talk about that. That'll inspire 10 more video ideas. So that really will build your list. You might be up to like 85, 90 ideas at this point. Now go back to the top of your list. Go back to number one. Under each of these ideas, think of other things that you could talk about, even more specific or break down each of those topics into two categories. So if I wrote editing video on your iPhone, I could do one video that's all about my favorite apps for editing video on your iPhone, and then I could do another video that's a tutorial of my favorite app. So those are just some examples of ways that you can take each piece of content that you have and break them down into more specific, nuanced, tangible, teachable ideas. At the end of that process, which should take about 30 minutes, maybe a little bit more, you should have a list of about 100 video ideas. And that's exactly what I did in my video, where I show you what I did to generate 101 video ideas in 30 minutes. If you wanna check that video out, make sure you click on the card above me and you will be able to see that video. It's also linked in the description below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed because I put out videos weekly all about, well, video. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. I've always wanted to say that.